All right, so this is the back of the homework page, page 587 and 588. We already did 587 yesterday. So 588 was what we're turning in today. You have a double homework today. So it's a survey showed that 7 fifteenths of a class liked soccer and 2 fifths liked baseball. Which sport was liked less? So they did this test of these kids in a classroom. There might have been 30 kids in the classroom, right? Out of every, if there was 30 kids in the classroom, that'd mean 14 of them liked soccer, right? If there's 30 kids in the classroom here, because five times six is 30. So 12 liked baseball. So I'm gonna just get these to a comparable number, right? So I'm gonna just do it the same way I did it in class. I'm gonna say seven fifteenths and I'm gonna compare it to two fifths. I wanna find their equivalent fractions. I'm gonna write here if it's greater than, less than two, or equal to. So I'm gonna change my fractions into numbers that are similar so I can compare them. I need to make my numerator, my denominator the same number. And I see a 15 and I see a five. Right? There's different ways I can do that. I'm going to do it this way now. I'm going to break it down into its prime factorization. So 5 is just 5, right? Just 5. 15 is 3 times 5. So I can see when I do prime factorization, I can see they both have a 5 in their prime factorization. So what I need to do is just get rid of one of the 5s. I keep one of them. Right? I have to multiply these numbers together, but I only multiply it if it has if it's original. So the three is original. This one doesn't have a three. The five is in both numbers, so I'm only going to multiply it one time. So my least common multiple is fifteen. All right. Hopefully you can see here. This one is already fifteen, so I don't even need to change it. It was 7, 15, right? This one, 5, I'm going to turn into a 15. So I'm going to multiply it times 3. And whatever I do to the bottom, I need to do to the top, right? I'm just, I'm not really changing this number. I'm multiplying it by 1 because 3 over 3 is the same as 1. So I multiplied my bo bottom times 3. 5 times 3 is 15. And my top times 3, 2 times 3 is 6. Now I can compare this number, right? 7 out of 15 is more than 6 out of 15. But now I see here, the question was, what sport was liked less? So I am going to have to tell them which sport was liked less. And I can tell the two-fifths sport, which was baseball, was liked less. So I'm going to say baseball was less liked in cursive because we're supposed to be doing cursive anyway in fifth grade. All right, the fifth graders were given sandwiches for lunch during their field trip. Nathan ate five-sixths of his sandwich, Leroy ate seven-eighths of his sandwich, and Sophia ate five-eighths of her sandwich. Who ate the greatest amount of their sandwich? So I'm going to compare these three numbers. I'm going to do my math way down over here. So I need, to, or actually I'll do it right here. I need to compare 6 and 8. Ooh, and 8, right? I have the same number there. So I'm going to see 6 and 8. What number do they have in common? Hopefully you guys are getting good at this now, right? You can already see it right off the bat. You're like, but we will do 6, 12, 18, 24, and 8 is 8, 16, 24, 32, right? I'm just practicing my multiples. That's why I go and do four of them. 24 and 24 are the numbers in common. So 24 is going to be my common denominator. So I'm going to compare. Nathan had 5 sixths. I'll write him right there. Maybe I'll put a little N so I know this is Nathan. Leroy had seven eighths. 
And Sophia, I need to write hers also. Sophia had five eighths. I'm going to convert these numbers into common denominator fraction. All right, so to turn a 6 into 24, I need to multiply it times 4. 6 times 4 is 24, so I multiply the bottom times 4, the top also. So 5 times 4 is 20. Here's Leroy. Right, I need to turn his 8 denominator into a 24. So to turn an 8 into a 24, I multiply it times 3. So if I multiply the bottom times 3, I have to multiply the top times 3. And 7 times 3 is 21. Ooh, I can see Leroy ate more of his sandwich than Nathan did. And here's Sophia. So Sophia ate 5 eighths. Right, I could tell that she ate less than Leroy already. He ate 7 eighths. He almost ate the whole sandwich. She only ate 5 eighths. But I'm going to keep going because they said who ate the greatest amount of sandwich. I'm already done with figuring out my problem, but I'm going to keep going just for practice. Right? My 8 to turn it into a 24, I multiply it again times 3. So if I multiply the bottom times 3, I have to multiply the top times 3. So my 5 times 3 is going to be 15. Oops, over in 25. I meant 24. I was thinking and writing at the same time. So I can see here, 15 out of 24, 21 out of 24, 20 out of 24. Leroy ate the most. All right, the greatest amount and the most is the same. So I can write that. All right, replace the gray square with a number to make the gray square over 24 greater than 1 fourth. A true statement. Hmm. So what I'm going to do is figure out what 1 fourth would be as a, as a 24. Right? If I take my 1 fourth, I'm going to take my 1 fourth and convert it into a 24 denominator. I'm going to do an equivalent fraction. It's going to be equal, but it's just going to have a 24 in the denominator. So now I have to figure out, <coughs> I took my 4 times 6 to get 24. So whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. 1 times 6 is 6. So 6 over 24 is equal to 1 fourth. So to make this greater, I'd have to have 7 over 24. right? If I put 6 over 24, I'd have to change this to equal. But this is greater than. So something over 24 is greater. So I'm going to say... The gray square equals, so I'm just telling this number right at the top. I'm going to say 7 over 24, 8 over 24, 9 over 24, 10, right? There's a lot of different numbers I could put there. I'm going to go for the smallest one, equals 7. Therefore, 7 over 24 is greater than 1 over 4. Right, and they want me to do my gray square. I guess I can make it a gray square here. Colored in with my pencil. Now I have a gray square. It's equal to 7 or 8, right? I could have a lot of different answers there. Fill in the blank with the correct word to complete the sentence. The least common denominator, LCD, is the least common multiple of the blank of fractions. Right? The least common multiple and the least common denominator are the same thing. I'm looking for the least common multiple in the of the denominator. I'm just trying to find the number that's in the not denominator that is in common. I don't know why we don't just say that instead of giving it its own name. We could just say find the least common multiple of the denominator. It would make more sense. So here is my net test practice question. 18 out of 24 of Emil's CDs are country music. 5 out of 8 of Imani's CDs are country music, which is a true statement. All right, so here is Emil's. I'm going to write it out. Here's Emil. And he has 18 out of 24 country music CDs. Imani's has 5 out of 8 country um, music CDs. So right now I can see this is a 24 denominator. Let 
me write his name. Imani has 5 out of 8, and Emil has 18 out of 24. So I am going to compare these. I'm going to compare these numbers Are together. Hi. Okay. I'm doing this. Yep. All right, so here is 5 out of 8. I had 8, comparing it to 18 out of 24. So I'm, I'm going to just change it right now. I didn't even read my options. But I know I'm probably going to have to compare these numbers. So I want to see which one has more CDs. So I'm going to turn my denominator into a 24. Right, to turn an 8 into a 24, I know I multiply it times 3. So whatever I do to the bottom of a fraction, I have to do to the top of the fraction. So 5 times 3 is 15. Oops, I can tell Emil had more CDs than Imani. So now I'm going to read what are my options for answers. Half of each CD collection consists of country music. 18 out of 24 isn't half, right? 12 out of 24 would be half. 4 out of 8 would be half. Less than half of each CD collection consists of country music. Well, I could see 18 out of 24 is more than half, and 15 out of 20, right, 5 out of 8 is more than half, because it'd be 4 out of 8. So not less than half, but less than half of each CD collection consists of country music. No, I'd say if it said more, that would be my answer. Let's see, here is my next, my next option. Emil has a greater fraction of country music than Imani. I do see that is true, right? Emil has 18 out of 24, he has 15 out of 24. Imani has a greater fraction of country music than Emil. No, right? I can already see that's not true. So my correct answer would be C.